832, this your boy live and direct in full effect out the 832. You already know how Jimmy J Smooth do. Uh, quick post fight video on Errol Spence versus uh, Kel Brook. I finally got a chance to see the fight. Um, at the time of the stoppage, uh, I had it just like everybody else with the knockdown prior to uh, the complete stoppage. I had Errol Spence up by a round. Uh, I had round number one even. I gave Kell Brook. Uh, I gave Kell Brook uh, four rounds. Uh, I gave Kell Brook four rounds, and then I gave uh, I gave uh, Errol Spence. I gave Errol Spence about five rounds. So I gave it. I had I had to get had the fight up. Uh, I had Errol Spence up by five, by one point. That's just the way it is. But anyway, uh, the first five rounds, uh, Kell Brook pretty much was in cruise control, you know. But then the inevitable happened. Uh, yeah, Errol Spence broke his ass down like a fucking puzzle, you know. Uh, the first five rounds, uh, you know, Kell Brook coming forward and then using the jab, being slick, you know what I'm saying, using uh, lateral foot movement in the first five rounds. But round six happened, and what ended up happening was uh, Kell, uh, Kell Brook started clinching more, and he wasn't clinching to avoid hits he was clinching because those body shots was really affecting him and Errol Spence just broke his ass down like a piece of puzzle man he broke his ass down like a nigga trying to eat some goddamn chicken up in this motherfucker but uh, nevertheless Kell Brook is very tough and you know whoever fights Kell Brook next once his eye situation gets situation situated look out because he's doing the damn thing but Kell Brook was pumping the jab and in uh Errol Spence's face Errol Spence had no clue on how to get out the way of that jab for a minute you know he was just eating jabs for the first five rounds and then the sixth round the next four rounds you know Errol Spence just broke his ass down and you know Kell Brook didn't like those body shots and eventually the body shots uh, eventually uh, broke Kell Brook down so it is what it is but uh, again great fight this is a potential fight of the year candidate I mean honestly I mean you can argue this fight is the, the fight of the year or at least a fight of the year candidate because both guys put it on the line but uh Congratulations to Errol Spence again for bringing the championship home back to America. Now it's time to get Keith one time Thurman in the ring. And if you got to get Lamont, Fred Sanford, Lamont, uh, Fred Sanford Peterson up in that motherfucking ring. Once again, this your boy live and direct in full effect after 832. Y'all already know how I do.